Welcome to LensDiaries.com, Improving a Photo, Example 2. I'm Rolando Gomez. We're going to take you to the Virgin Islands first. If you notice here, you'll see this small boat going by. Well, that wasn't the problem. It was this big cruise ship coming by. When that cruise ship came by, you're working in a real hurry, it doesn't stop, and I forgot to change my camera settings. So this is the photo that uh, I wound up with. And today I'm going to show you in post-production how we can improve on this photo so it'll look something like this using Adobe uh, Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, and some Nick software filters. I'm sure a few of you are probably saying the photo doesn't look bad, but the first problem we had with the photo was the white balance was wrong, and obviously the highlights are blown out, it's a little overexposed. So we're going to take it into Adobe Lightroom, it's the program that I like to go in there, and we can adjust the color temperature of the white balance, we can also adjust the exposure, and do a little recovery, the blown out highlights, a little fill light, and then a little blacks there to add some contrast to the image. And then we'll ex we will turn around and export it out to Adobe Photoshop, and the first step that I always do is I make a background copy so that way we have something to fall back on in case we have any problems and have to correct anything. Then we do the unsharp mask, the 51 in 1 settings as explained in my previous videos. And then I'm going to go back into Nick software and my favorite is the bleach bypass um, filter. And we'll go in there and control the saturation and we'll also use the control points. The control points are very important so that way you only apply to the filter where you need it and as you can see the control points uh, I, in the highlight areas, I don't want to use too much of the Nick filter there because it does add some contrast and I don't want to blow them out anymore. I want to try to keep as much detail as possible. But this is the beauty of the Nick filters is the control points and you can see the before and after there. And as soon as we do the Nick bypass, bleach bypass filter, I like to do um, unsharp mask again 51 and 1 to kind of offset it. And now we've gone back into Nick software using the Silver Effects Pro and I'm going to, I selected the infrared uh, filter there. And if you notice, I'm using the control points again just to apply the amount of filter that I need and only in the areas that I want. I, I don't want to overdo it. You can see how the control points really help you. And then I also used a red filter there too for more detail. So in review, we used the W Lightroom to correct the white balance and the exposure. We used the recovery to bring back detail and the blown out highlights, fill to add detail in the shadows, and black to add contrast to the overall image. And then we export in Adobe Photoshop and we make that background copy in case we need something to revert back to as we did in the previous video. And of course we do the unsharp mask of 51 and 1. Then we use the Nick Software Color Effects Pro Bleach Bypass Filter which helps put a little bit of bump into the image. I really like that. And we also use the Nick Software uh, Silver Effects Pro um, Infrared Film Normal Black and White Filter. We, we use black and white a lot in some of my post production to help add some uh, tone back into the image and then we bring it back to color as you'll see in this tutorial. Once we come out of the Nick Software Filter we're obviously back in Adobe Photoshop again and this is where I use the eraser tool. Normally I do it in small increments as I mentioned in my previous video at 30% at opacity. This time we're going about 100% and we're going to basically erase out um, the effect on the body. This is the same as creating a mask and this comes very important for the steps that we're going to follow and, and you know I kind of do it rough in the beginning. It's nothing to worry about. And then I turn around I move in a little closer and then I use the snapshot that I made earlier. We covered that in the previous video too to paint back in any places where I may have overdone it. Again, we're using the snapshots technique here. We're doing it in small increments again, that 30% opacity, just painted in when I went over. Uh, when, I, when I erased out the uh, Nick Software Silver FX Pro um, effect on Candace's body there, obviously it was rough, and that's okay. Uh, if you don't know the snapshots technique, it's in uh, other videos that I have on the YouTube channel. In fact, there's two uh, videos there, part one, part two. It's a great technique and it works. And then, of course, when I'm done, um, clean the mistakes, I go into uh, my clone tool and I start removing any imperfections and in the case of Virgin Island, sometimes we fight bugs so I might find a mosquito bite on the model or two. And in the case of Candace here, I'm just lightly touching up, she's got great skin so it doesn't require much. You see the thread there that I'm getting rid of. So, you know, use your clone tool. Okay, now we go back into Nick software and this time we're using the bicolor filter. I had some presets in here already that I used prior and it looks pretty good. If you'd notice it was like a masked out area and that's the beauty of the eraser tool. So we're only working in the areas that uh, do not affect Candace's skin, just the background. Now if you notice you can see a distinct edge between the body and the, and the background there and so what we're going to do is we're going to move that first bleach bypass layer to the top and then we will sit there and adjust the opacity so it will blend in. Then when we do the adjustment levels again you'll notice that the hard edges are gone and you can see how the subject blends with the background without uh, having any defined edges which makes the image look more natural. Now we're back in Nick software um, color effects pro and we're using the Indian summer filter and this is going to add a little pink saturation in our bathing suit as well as adding pink into the sky. If you notice we're using control points 
to make sure we don't affect the skin tone. That's very important here because this is about adding saturation to the clothing. And then by throwing that pink into the clouds, it, it kind of um, uh, adds a little bit of, um, brings the, the swimsuit to life and adds a little bit of additional color. And it, pink is a warm color, whereas blue is a uh, cool color. So you see the contrast between the blue water, the blue ship, and some of the blue in the sky, along with the pink and the skin tone and the swimsuit adding warmth to the image. So contrast is important in your photos. Now we really want to beef up this uh, warm, cool color, color contrast. So we start out with adjusting levels in Photoshop. Then we go back into Nick's software and we're going to uh, use the contrast color range filter. And you can see here how much uh, it really will uh, pump up the, the contrast there. And then uh, we'll turn around and use uh, control points because in certain areas like the swimsuit we don't want to wash out and some parts of the sky it's important to when you add contrast you have to be careful for the areas that your darks are going to go much darker and your shadow areas and then your highlight areas are going to go even more brighter so these control points that's the beauty of nick software filter really help to keep it as a clean transition now the image still needs a little bit more pump to it so we're going to darken it up a little bit using the levels in adobe photoshop and then once we make those level adjustments, we're gonna turn around and use the snapshots technique again, because obviously we've darkened the entire image, but we wanna now bring her face and her hair specifically back out. It's always important in your photos with models to try to make the face just a little bit brighter than the rest of the body, and it just makes it stand out. That's very commonly done in the industry, especially in fashion, and I'm sorry, especially in glamor photography. Um, and you just paint in as you need it. Candace has a beautiful body here, and so we just, um, uh, brighten up the areas that uh, just kind of stand out. Now one of the problems with this image is the ship is a little bit too saturated blue so we're going to do Adobe Photoshop and uh, drop down the saturation then we'll go back into the snapshots technique and um, we'll sit there and paint that saturation out. Keep in mind this is about the model not about the ship so we want to kill that saturation and that way her swimsuit's a little bit more saturated in the image than any other color and obviously the human eye is going to go to uh, your subject there, beautiful model Candice Marie. So let's review this tutorial. We used Adobe Lightroom to correct the white balance and correct the exposure. Then we used Recovery to bring back in blown out highlights. We used Fill to add a little area in the shadows to give it a balance and then Blacks to add contrast. Then we used Adobe Photoshop specifically. The Unsharp Mask and Color and Level and Saturations adjustments uh, throughout this tutorial throughout the process and then we turn around and use the snapshots technique and paint it in the, those corrections uh, wherever the erasal tool or the clone tool may have been overdone a little bit so it's very important that uh, you use all these tools in Photoshop to get the image that you're after. And throughout the process we also use Nick's software Color Effects Pro specifically the bleach bypass filter one of my favorites along with the bicolor filter and the Indian summer filter to help add some uh, color throughout the image and some saturation. Then we went to the Silver FX Pro where we used the infrared film normal and that was to bring it into black and white then of course we took like we did in previous video made a black and white back into color. Then we used the Nick Software Color FX Pro contrast color range filter and this was important to make the blues uh, contrast against the pinks there the cool colors versus the warm colors. In conclusion we corrected the white balance using Adobe Lightroom as well as the recovery of the blown out highlights and then we corrected the exposure also in Lightroom. Uh, we used Adobe Photoshop as well as Nick software to provide more color and increase saturations for a much better photo. Thank you very much and I hope to see you on lensdiaries.com where you'll find more photography tips and tutorials.